Hello and welcome to this Agony Tournament Thrones of Britannia Round 2 matchup. It was between OTK Taj playing Sudrea versus Ziva Legio 9 Hispania playing the Strat Clute. Let's see how this one pans out. So it's uh, the Battle of the Fens. <coughs> Nice little map. Relatively flat. Quite a lot of woodland on one side, a little bit of woodland on the other with um, these fan area, the marshes. As you can see, axe build with spear support, a little bit of cab for Taj, and Legio 9 Espana. Sword. Mm, good balance, are we actually? Yeah, sword, axe. Spear and Cav and a bit of missile. So you've got a front line of the Welsh Levy Spearman. That's up by the Welsh Male Swordsman. Some Longbowman. The Uchilwa. I'm terribly sorry to any Welsh because of my uh, pronunciation. The Chulu Spear Guard. Or the Welsh Male Axeman. I'm not convinced by the Welsh faction as myself. So Taj, he's, he's gone for the same build that he had in the previous round I think. Which should be uh, two Jav Cav, one in its grouping. Eastern Horseman, Eastern Mailed Horseman. Some Eastern Spearman. I see the Eastern Axeman, Eastern Mailed Axeman. Eastern Axe Warriors. Good mix of uh, axes, but uh, yeah, definitely an axe. Cool. And two berserkers, and this general is the half guard. Good general. I don't rate swords highly in the uh, thrones of Britannia, but um, the half guard are good. And this is clever play by uh, Legio 9 Hispania. He's utilizing the fans to cover his flanks. She only gives two roots. for Taj to attack from. And Taj is advancing now. And he's got his Cav cav unit uh, cav group there. It looks, looks like the other cavs are moving forward. Yeah, he's trying to surround. So is not for coming in from this direction? It seems utilizing utilizing this forest or sort of, well, this wood. He'll be able to get a little bit of cover from the artifier there. So that's that's clever use of the terrain by Taj. Up to now, very tactical by both players. I'm not sure what the attacking rules were here because um, it's clear now. Earlier on, Taj was not advancing, but he he is advancing on the enemy and Legio Nine. He's he's, he's not doing anything. He's just defending his lines. So that would be interesting. Usually in the best of one flash tournament, both players are designated attackers and they both need to be making aggressive moves. But well... 
Nice bit of scenery by the, uh, the swamp. Lovely sound. I wonder if we'll see any frogs or toads hopping around the reeds. I guess that's the law in the game. This is a quick chance to have a look at some of the units up close. The Welsh Mailed Axe Firm. Those Welsh Levy Spearmen. The Welsh Mailed Swordsman. So, Taz has brought up one of those CAV units. So it's Jav CAV. It's getting uh, fired on from the archer, so I'm not sure this is what Taj really wants to do. He's given away models cheap. So whatever Taj was planning there, I, I, I can't honestly say it's worked. Few flame arrows then coming in from Leisure 9. So I think Tash has realised the folly of sending his Jav Cav that close, unsupported. And his units are now marching in on the enemy's position. It was wasting arrows, firing on a uh, Eastern Spearman and Shield Wall. He might get a couple. He got two. He might get a couple of men. There we go. He has, but those arrows really need to be targeting the axemen. So sometimes it's better to just be firing than not firing. Tash going in for the kill here. So we see a clash of spears. The Eastern Spearman versus the Welsh Spearman. And the Eastern Spearman versus the Tulu Spear Guard. Well, the Tulu should win that fairly convincingly. But Taj is following up with Axis. And we're seeing the Levy Spearman beginning to waver. But it is um, a unit of the Eastern Spearmen that rounds first, but they were facing up against the Tulu Spear Guard. But the centre lines look pretty good for Taj's army now, as uh, these Welsh Levy Spearmen not able to take the fight. Small wing is uh, some of Tash's axemen are starting to out. It's a good charge by the general. Whoops. He's going in on the eastern horseman. The, uh, the problem being that Tash has got units backing up. And it's exposed longbowmen. The eastern male horseman. Taj managed to, after getting a counter charge from the up for a lot, Taj managed to charge into the rear of these units. So the general's certainly winning the battle, but he's taking damage, and that's that's never a good thing. I never like to see cab charging into spears. Even uh, even though they've they've done well there. Uh, shows what I know. Taj is broken through the centre with uh, is East, this unit of Eastern Spearman. This unit of Eastern Male Axemen. As you can see, he's doing some rear charges. We'll probably see the same and go into the back of these lines here. The other option 
would have been to take out the longbowman there. He had a nice chance. And he's working the distance scouts extremely well, mopping up some of the, uh, the longbow longbowmen at the rear. Over on this flank, Legio 9 seems to be winning. He's wrapped around and so which flank will collapse first? That's the question. This cab really should be charging into the longbowman or into these longbowmen. Either one would work, but even though it's a jab cab, him in a charge, he'll be doing more damage quicker. Here we go. So Taj realising that. Getting fed up of being shot. Another charge on this archer unit. This half guard have taken quite a lot of damage, so I can expect a Gen 9 to target that. Over on this flank, it's looking good for RTK. So the centre's been won by RTK Taj, and This flank, apart from the one unit, has been won, and it, uh, it will be won. But this flank over here was won by the Siva, Siva player. Yeah, the Berserkers should have no problem. Taking out the Welsh mailed swords, and there we see the Zirkus are OP in melee, but they do have um, the odd vulnerability. Counters are being found for them. Does just remember that he's got these Eastern Scouts, will come in extremely handy during the late game. <coughs> It's a fairly even battle. I, I, I think the crucial part of it is that Tash has got this unit of near full berserkers left. And what has Legio 9 got to counter that? And that's not a lot. So this is critical now. You can use this cav to come around and start it in the exposed flanks of these units. There go the Welsh Mail Swords. Tash really could have done with bringing his berserkers around there. Taking a few extra steps. And either have uh, got a rear charge on these guys as well. But he's still got his cab to do that. And then this, this has certainly turned the way of RTK now. There's no comeback for Ziva in this battle. And last unit is wavering. That was a great battle actually. Uh, very close. Well played to both players. You see the Berserkers there getting 181 kills. So we used to mail Axman getting 221. So they're the uh, two star players. And um, for Legio 9 Espana, the Cav did pretty well. And a couple of units of the Welsh Mail Swordsmen <gasps> and the Tulu Spearguard 
249 kills. That was an outstanding performance. Probably quite a lot of them were against the, uh, the cheaper spears, but nonetheless, well played. Good game. Hope you enjoyed the battle. Take care.